think that was good. Welcome back to Talking It Out, episode <laughs> six. A lot of you are probably here because you were outraged by last week's episode. And we did promise to do the, uh, to do a continuation because last week we discussed uh, the things that girls do that annoy boys. And uh, yeah, some people were a bit, they couldn't believe there is. That's what you said to me. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so today we're back. I'm gonna do things that men do that annoy people in general. Actually. People, people in general. Uh, but today I'm joined by Fanaya. What, what, what do you do for? Uh, I'm a musician. I'm in the group Symphony. Check us out, Check guys. Us out. I'm Sasha, I'm also in the group, and I do YouTube, so yeah, subscribe to Sasha's channel. Oh, Sasha Dixon. Thank you. Hey. <laughs> okay, I'm um, Morgan. Morgan. I'm so used to say Morgan. <laughs> Dias. Um, I'm a creative, music, fashion, art. I do fashion at Unity, so I'm mm. piece of my shit. Um, yeah. Political, I'm getting all political now too. So yeah. Well, before we fully get into it, I've got, got to do a quick shout out to the brand Brutal Impact. Today, I'm wearing one of the t shirts that they sent me. Drip, drop, 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 drop. Mm. I'll show you the back. You need to show the back. It's a nice little. Mm. <laughs> and, uh, I can confirm, you know, it's, it's, not, it's good quality material, good quality. Like, you oh, do that's actually just, really good quality, isn't it? Use the code WILLN25 and you get yourself 25% off. Mm. <laughs> well then, I think before we fully get into the things that men do mm -hmm. that piss us off, there's one thing that was said last week which uh, <coughs> you could argue may have crossed the line. And that was when Enoch, beautiful, beautiful Enoch, had said that, that women should allow the driver thing. Now, obviously, he was being a bit hyperbolic. You know what, that's last week's mm -hmm. You don't need yeah. to continue. <laughs> Uh, let's, but, get into uh, it then. let's get into it. I think the first thing that we should we should we, we, we it would be almost a sin to not discuss to it. not discuss is how prideful us guys are. Uh -huh. Very very prideful. Very prideful. I think it's a it's a feature of toxic masculinity that. Having pride is not bad, I don't think. Having excessive level, pride. Yeah, excessive pride is where it gets dangerous <coughs> to the point where I feel like guys don't <coughs> do things out of pure emotion but out of like the idea that if I don't do this then someone else will look at me in a certain way and think yeah. about me in this oh, way. So do you know what I mean? So it doesn't it's not an emotional thing, it's more of It's calculated. Yeah, it is, it is, it is it's it's like more of a like a reaction causes a reaction to what what what's gonna happen. So I just I just think that guys need to like step away from the idea that you need to act a certain way to impress anybody but but impress yourself, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because do you know what I mean? Like you can only <coughs> you can only do so much, like why do the most for the reaction of other people. Exactly. Sure. Them, so and that, that actually stems from insecurity I think. I, I think Because a lot of guys yeah. are more insecure than they let off. Oh, I feel like in like in that, I don't like get into like huge gag groups because you do more damage than good sometimes. Like when mm. you joke, like I feel like some jokes go too far. Like like a guy's trim, like if he's dead, like y'all are pine for weeks, then like, you'll go into yeah, him for weeks, this. and then he'd be like ha 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 laughing ha ha, but like <coughs> deep down. <laughs> I do, I do think so. It's a feature of toxic masculinity because it's just like a, it's like a, you don't want to appear like yeah. less of a man yeah. almost, yeah. Because yeah. it's like, so just like when you were saying before when you started recording, you was like a guy will, will just accidentally brush, brush past, past you, and depending and on who you brush fight. past, they all want to fight. They're like, let's go, let's go, let's go. and you're like, but why, why is that so deep? Why is that, why is that Such a, a reason thing. for me to then? want to fight mm -hmm. and you and like it's like are we not all supposed to be like fighting over serious things like people are in different bridges like the, the town of Newton and you want to be fighting because I brush, brush past, I brush you. past your shoulder how can your pride be so high like yeah. I guess the simplest thing here is uh let's take it down a notch to the pride boys it's, it's, it's too just, much just, just, just keep it to a minimal like mm. I don't mind some people you, you give it the most anyway but too much is like, but like too much on. is too excessive like it just gets annoying just like what are you doing like what are you actually doing yeah. Yeah. it's absolutely I know and it's also like some guy like 
even when you're like just talking, not even physical yet, that you can see the pride in that they gotta be the last one to say the last thing. Yeah, like, it's like so say you say something back, you say something back, you say something back. I just like just shut up. Just leave it there. Just leave it Oh, but I think you might have been a bit right there about it's it's, it's about the insecurities and like oh, comes from a place sure. like lack of self esteem. Mm -hmm. Especially like if you're like, especially if you're not like, if your guys are more good looking than you or like have more like physical attributes. That, depending on what you have, it can stem into other things. So like you go out your way to do to hide that by doing other things to mask that. Like, we all have, like, like individual things that make us who we are. So, like, even if you don't have what, what he has, maybe there's something else that you makes have. you, do you know what I mean? No, yeah, exactly, because so just as I'll be thinking, I don't have what he has, he'll be thinking he don't have what right. I have. Exactly. And then you'll never talk about it, but, yeah. like, you're also about <laughs> you the, love the it. bad things. <laughs> like, that is so to, true. To but that's the same with girls, too, though, I think. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the same girls, too, definitely. People in general, the grass always looks greener, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we don't... They like, don't. I mean, like, I think, because guys don't talk about like actual things that they find like yeah, we just talk about like that. cars and sports yes yeah. like women actually like you look good today like you look good yeah. like like mm -hmm. d -d 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 -d. guys is like nah like your trim looks good or like you're looking nice today like but no, you don't uh, actually like not to be fair like you don't actually guys, like express like express like oh my gosh like you're just looking nice like you're just looking a certain way like it's like your game and it's like <laughs> i know what you mean Sometimes, you know, I know what you mean. You're still eating pussy. You're still eating. You know what I mean? Yeah, lack of communication, that's a, a big problem with like many implications, which is why you should watch the show just by talking. <coughs> yeah, especially like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, like when you're speaking to a guy, if you want a certain thing from a girl, just say it like. You might agree or you might disagree, but like literally, we can't read your mind. It's calm to just communicate, let us sure. know what's going on. It's like know the difference that men and women think differently. So, like, how you think, and in both senses, like, you can't apply what you think with a girl mm -hmm. to a guy, and you can't apply what a guy, with what things with a guy with a girl because the mindset is different. Exactly. So, it's like coming to a compromise of like, where do we go from here? Like, how do we communicate in a way that we're both going to be able to understand? each point of view mm -hmm. and that's that's why with communication because guys don't communicate girls yeah. start to overreact start <laughs> making up scenarios in their head then we get called crazy, crazy <laughs> because you don't like if you tell us like why you randomly stop talking to me we wouldn't be making up all these stuff in my in our heads you know like just tell us what's going on so we we can gain that closure do you know what i mean i know you mean <laughs> so, so, some people have not been very <laughs> communicating. <laughs> 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 oh, but uh, moving on from that, another thing that uh, I feel so sometimes so like I'm almost I'm almost like supporting the wrong team here. But another thing that You're we the do, right team. <laughs> there's no right teams. Only the the, the right way. Do you know what I mean? There's only like the right it's way, nice. like in how we do things. I feel like there's no, like, if we say, like, we have to take it from men or women, then we're never going to reach anywhere. That's, that's, where so we are. that's where we are right now. Yeah. But there's, like, I feel like the team is the way in which we all should be going together to get to a place in which we are all thriving together mm -hmm. and not caring about each, like, the pe like the separate issues. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like, no, I mean, men and women. Yeah, I feel, yeah, there's, there, there's, like, in some cases, it's a problem of we minimise the difference between men and women. Mm -hmm. like, an example being like, for instance, uh, I don't know why it's the first that comes to my mind, but like, it's and it's also a bit of a double standard, not a bit, quite a double standard. Like, like <clears throat> when like a female rapper will talk about like how she rides the dick so well, compared to like when Drake would be like, oh that girl rode my dick so well. Like when Drake does it, oh, it's an empowering, cool. like sexy thing for a man to be like. Oh yeah, about a girl, but when a girl does it, it's like us. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. giving too much. Like, I'm yeah. such an advocate for keeping the same energy. Energy. With all, okay. Yeah, keeping the same energy in most things, honestly, because mm -hmm. you can't expect one thing from a man or let that this slide for men and then not keep the same energy for women. Because I feel like women are very demonizing it. It's female rappers are I'm very demonizing like it. Women in general, or black women. Oh. Uh, because that's a different situation. Yeah. True. 
Carry on. Carry on. <laughs> They're like female rappers are very demonized for being having very hypersexual lyrics. But at the same time, because you ask a man, why don't you listen to it? Why are you not into Nicki Minaj and Meg Meg and the Stallion? They're like, I can't listen to that, I can't listen to that. But you can listen to who do you like? What rappers do you even listen to? You listen to all the other male rappers talking about basically the same thing. So, yeah. Whereas, is it, is, it must be stemmed from misogyny because that's the only thing that I can see be. as. I think maybe it's more of relatability as well. Like, you gotta be, like, admit. Yeah, but just because you can't relate to it doesn't mean you should knock it down. Like, yeah. yeah, I agree. It, it, yeah. It's, no, it's rooted in misogyny and that's the honest truth because you're conditioned to feel like women should not say things like that. Yeah. It sounds so weird to you having a woman talk about her sexual fantasies but so not. When a, when a guy does it, like, that needs to change. What about like hot girl summer? Because like yeah. that's come about like women being more like open about their sexuality, like mm -hmm. doing this and that. And I feel like the backlash had been like I would say fifty fifty on like how it's taken in terms of like men taking it. Like some men are like, like I'm doing it, why not? Women mm -hmm. can do it. And then some men are like, I'm feeling it up. Like, yo, women, like, you can't do that shit. But cosmen had to make a competition. Yeah, yeah. they made a competition. Yeah. 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 Was, was, was it then you made a competition or like, there? It was, was when something happens to a girl. It's like city boys. Yeah, guys have won again. No, no, but low key, let's be fair though. I think it was women who turned into competition. No way. Nah. We, we, were, we were living in a hot girl. <laughs> <laughs> we were just trying to live in a hot girl. A hot girl yeah. summer, and then you come <laughs> say, oh, oh, city boys, city boys for the win. Isn't it? Like, please. No, but see, see, we only say city boys, boys for the win. To combat a woman's um, emancipation from Ooh, societal restrictions. <laughs> That's where it's special, but it's not that deep at the end of the day. It's about four. I thought it was just you know. It was like empowerment <laughs> in that song, but like, like you know how it's a whole like trend and shit. Mm -hmm. How can a whole trend about women empowerment? Like men have to be involved. It's like they a men always have to be involved. Yeah. 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 Like, I mean, we make everything about ourselves. Yeah, there's bigger fights to fight. I'm not, I'm not pressed about that. Yeah, like but it's, not a big it's thing, the but yeah. Like, mm -hmm. The little things like mine. Yeah, yeah. Oh uh, no, I agree with that. Live your hot press or whatever. Yeah, you did dinner anyway. <laughs> <laughs> You've been the <laughs> nah, it's true. Yeah. No, no, it's true. Yeah. It's actually, it's true. And the thing is, these days, like, they're, they're proud of it. No, obviously, that's not yeah. all boys, because, like, look at me, like, mum, you know, I'm a good boy. Auntie, mm. <laughs> don't let him lie to you. Auntie, don't listen. <laughs> She's shaking her head right now. She's watching the movie or not. <laughs> 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 no, you're not. Yeah, but there are some boys who are, you are trash and they embrace it. You don't even have group chats where they're talking about. How did oh, not get chat? Dirty. Dangerous. De dangerous. dangerous. Mm -hmm. Guys are proud these days to be on trash. Yeah, literally. Yeah. Oh, like, I've, been, I've seen women to group chat and they're not. That is not the same. What do you mean? Like, as in, like, y'all don't talk about. You talk about sex, but, like, not in the same way. I think. I love it. <laughs> like. Let me just shut up. <laughs> Maybe someone's eyes. Go, go, but I just go. don't feel like men talk about. Like this girl, this that, this that, I fuck this them. Mm -hmm. Kind of like an object. Yeah. Kind of. Like, like kind of like keeping score. Yeah. Like I've I've been spoken to guys like yeah we're keeping like we're literally on like this. That's guys, thing. girls don't do that. That's yeah. what I'm saying, but I think girls not on. I don't. I'm not saying all girls, but I'm saying the ones that I've seen, they're just not like on that level of like. It's a competition with guys and trying to get this. Oh guy. no, no, definitely um, not. <laughs> no, nah, but I don't know. You know, the, I feel like when it comes to that hot girl, hot boy, whatever summer. No one's innocent in it. Yeah, I don't that's, think a, that's kind of the point. I'm innocent. And it's kind of the point, like, you're not, like, you're doing what you're doing, you're, being, you're doing what you're doing. So it's kind of like empowerment in, in a sense. Yeah. In a but sense. I feel like Hugo Summer was actually more than just sexual liberation. It was, yeah. yeah. Really, it's about was, loving yourself. Yeah. Yeah. It's about just living your best life. It's not just you just sleep with anyone and you are, and, yeah. you know. Yeah. It was like a, everything in one. Yeah, basically. But every, that included. Taken out. Yeah, but obviously, there's, 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 unfortunately, sex is what people remember. So, uh, that's, that's, that's what it became centralised though. Like, sex is actually not deep. I'm sorry. It doesn't have to be. No, it actually isn't. I feel like that's an episode in itself, you know. Yeah. I'm not going to go into it, but I'm saying it's actually in itself, isn't it? Yeah. It's different for different people, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. You guys, I don't know why you're so trash. These poor girls, what they do to you? So oh, trash. I can actually mention that, but I'm not gonna. Like, men get hurt so quickly. No, that's true, actually. Do they? That's true, we do. They do. It's, not, it's true. Like, men, so, like, 
in terms of like a guy would get hurt one time two times by a girl she broke my heart like she did me dirty like she did all of this i'm just like a girl would go for one two three four guys three four five six seven eight, eight. nine ten she'll still be like going through her shit and you get hurt twice and your pulse always hurting like this hurt like, mm -hmm. like you're in your, you're in your feelings really? and you're like and hurt. that's why I'm, that's why i'm trash now because she did this this this, this. i'm like well, she girl, broke your heart both primary. Primary. now you want to be doing up <laughs> no, because that's how guys are. Like, um. No, but I don't know. I feel like, like yeah, it takes us a while to get over it. No, you went here far, though. So, why can't you? Why are you keeping going? No, no, no. We've been no, no, no. On. But what Lucy did to me in year four can't be forgotten. I'm <laughs> 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 literally serious. In them time, they're not serious. Oh, Lucy. What are you going to say? <laughs> I heard this thing. What was the thing? Um, this guy, he was saying, he said something like, um, so I. I would never get with a girl seriously or like I, until I get married um, will I put the emotion into it. So I get with a girl but I would never emotionally invest in that girl until I marry her. How so how you are you get ever going to get to that phase <laughs> of <laughs> relationship <laughs> <of> marriage? <laughs> how you get married? He's going to be emotionally available she's still going to marry If you have never like accepted the emotional side of it. Exactly. I kind of get that though because it's like... I don't know, you don't want to give out Maybe your protect emotions. Your energy. But there's no get in relationships. If you, if you, you know feel like gonna you can't last, commit right. and you can't give your energy and it's not going to last, then it stays. I think that's weak, I think, I think that's a pussy move. Because, yeah, I agree. Like, why would you... you got to take the risk. It's only, only if, only if you have set an arrangement of what the relationship is going to be, sex, friend benefits, whatever, will you be able to then say, oh yeah, I never really put in my full card in it and like, it was emotional. But once you hit that line of like, I'm, I'm trying to pursue this girl, and you know it's not gonna go anywhere. I just think that's a trash move. I just mm -hmm. think like that's that's pussy me, not as a man, but just in general that's a pussy me. Mm -hmm. like, and like if it's if your relationship with a girl is only gonna be very like <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be above the surface to say like nothing deep. Communicate that because that's when it gets problematic. Yeah. When you're it's kind of it's wasting someone's time, which I think is yeah. is such that's a thing. It's not yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. It's you hear like, like, Cause girls fall so fast, like not yeah. gonna lie. Yeah, we, or, we do sell dreams, don't we? A lot of dreams. <laughs> you sell a lot of dreams. Many dreams. In this story. Many, many dreams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you we're, we don't advocate dream merchants here at Base Productions. And then you like she's doing too much. Like she was just like she, I wasn't giving off them stickers. But you were, but you were, you up were until <laughs> you were seeing all these good good things, yeah. and then now we fell. That's when you want to. And you hit the thing, and then you get bored. When when do we hit the luck? The, the cut off line like and then you, you after that you just you just want to just do what you want exactly when she's caught feelings when these drinks have been attached and then the next relationship every, all i say is everything is everything leads on to the next thing so what the energy that you give to that one she'll give into the next one and then the next one so when she's doing too much in that the first one she's just too do too much in the second one mm -hmm. and too much in the, in the third one and it's just like it's a repeat in occurrence so like the energy that you've given it in you'll get out Mm -hmm. And it would just, it would travel. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. the same way you want to be trash, you know, it's going to be trash too. Well, the pressure's kind of on you guys in terms of the personal examples because mm -hmm. I, I am the problem. <laughs> well, technically, <laughs> you, are, you are the problem. You're not you specifically because I would say that even me as a guy, I'm a problem, but I'm just not banging girls. So I'm not <laughs> it's just a different scenario, isn't it? But I feel like guys. Like innately trash. Like I feel like I've had to become trash to like even get. No, I made a whole podcast on that with a friend of mine called it. It is innate. It's innate. A lot of it is innate. Is it really? No, because yeah. right. No, it's, it's all it's, about. But if you normalize it so much, now you're claiming it's innate. No, it, it, it's, it's not been, it's entirely innate. It's, it's been a, it's been about longer than that we've, we've realized. And well, it's since it, the it, dawn it, of time, as, as, as much as it's biologist, oh. also social concepts, um, social concepts of how men are supposed to be and women are supposed to be. Yeah. So if you took that away, then you'd have this like. I don't know, the Berlin side, but like that was still there anyway. Yeah. But I think a lot of it is I think environment. I just yeah, I think like society is just making it a norm, like, oh, mm. he's cheated. Oh, okay. Well it wasn't normal already, that's what I'm saying, but no, it's like, only social media now and stuff that is I have like highlighting like the stuff that men do because it's been around for time. Very true. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Do you know what I mean? Like I always mentioned like the nineties, like the nineties I think was one of the areas where like 
the man would stop to share. Like yeah. they were doing. But were they doing it secretly? That's what I'm saying. Like, oh. look at, like even like pop stars and stuff and hip hop rappers and stuff. And you see him doing like this with the children and this with that and then beatings mm. and stuff. Mm. It, it was never like realized. It was never like on show to everybody because obviously it's like a, a false perception of how their lives were. Like you only see what they would show you. <coughs> Want to show you. <coughs> you know what I mean? But now that social media is so open to everybody mm. else, we're able to now like express like people's personal lives and. Like celebrities have to show their personal lives now to actually relate to audiences because we, we see past like all the like the facade, yeah, the the facade of how things work. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but all I'm saying is that okay, now we're so much more open about what people are getting up to. But let's just not applaud people for doing the bare minimum. Yeah, because like we were just mm. we were saying how like a man can oh he doesn't cheat on his girlfriend oh well done you've got a good one. Like, it? That, should be it, that should be that's yeah. the norm. Like the base. That's the base. That's the base. No, but yeah, no, you're, you're fully correct there, Flo. Like, it's, it's like it's like what we're like you're getting praised for being loyal you know, to your girl. You know, you just, you know when we have these goals on Instagram and Twitter and stuff? It's not real. Like, you're wearing heels and he's wearing chains and you're taking a picture of your feet and now it's goals. Your feet are probably smelling too. I've had enough. Your feet are smelling. I've had enough of it. Everything is gold. It's not real. It's gold. Like, do you know how many people have broken in the last year? Like, mm. all these things. So many. People. That looks so perfect. Many, from that looks outside. good. You know, yeah. like, like Stormzy and Maya Jarrett. Oh, yeah. No, nah, I'm sorry, but. Uh, he fooled See, me I thought back. there was such he a good goal. Oh. <laughs> you know, you fumbled the bag. My job, man. He messed up. No, he messed no, up. No. Oh, people are still saying it's, j- j- he's made a win. George or Maya, George or Maya. That's not the point. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's fun and games, and I understand that like, it's just funny to everyone, but you know, let's see. Well, what if, it, if it was you, would it be funny? Yeah, like. <laughs> yes, this is. Well. We've got to have a bit of compassion. A bit. Uh, but uh, I guess these past two episodes. To be honest, I don't actually know what the point was. Maybe I was just trying to cause about anarchy. Maybe he was just taking a piss. But uh, we've kind of heard both sides' perspectives, and hopefully, uh, yeah. And also, comment any things that girls do or boys do that take the piss. Uh, there's a lot more. Stuff. There's a lot more that we didn't cover, obviously. But uh, for a part two, so. <clears throat> I think it should. Do but uh, I, I'm just. I don't know. I think. The reason we did it was just kind of like to just address some things that you know, just talk it out because you know, we kind of we keep these in our, like, in our heads and our hearts and not, and not communicate anymore. Uh, but uh, thanks for listening. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I uh, hope we entertained you. And uh, thanks to you guys for coming on. Thank you. Very well. for having us. <laughs> uh, before you go anywhere though, be sure to like, drop any comments, uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Even do the bell if you subscribe and not on the bell, come on. And uh, check out Symphony. You know, they dropped a new single not long ago. Do your thing. Please check it out. Out on all music. All music. All of them. All of them. All of them. All of them. <laughs> but uh, come back next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, do I? Well, do I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't think, boy, just feel, boy, you got this, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take over, controller, you got this, yeah, yeah.